Dear learners, welcome to EPG Parshala. I am Dr. Prashant Gautam from University Institute of Hotel and Tourism Management, Punjab University, Chandigarh. Today, we shall be taking module titled Destination Development and its Components under the paper Tourism Planning and Sustainable Development. Dear learners, after completing this module, you will be able to learn in depth about destination development, know about the components of destination development, know about the stages in destination development. To understand the key factors in destination development. Destination throughout the world are liable for the growth of tourism. The core of tourism is the experience the tourists get when they visit their required travel sites. This crafts destinations, enlargement, sustainability, and organization crucial for destination managers. Development is an impulsive, irrevocable progression intrinsic in every single civilization. It involves structure, delineation and realistic speciality. The destination development has a direct connection with the improvement of the tourism system. Tourism is part of developed social order as a service industry originated from and reliant on the more basic industries of manufacturing and commerce. This travel industry necessitates that vital infrastructure such as electrical power, roads, water supply, etc along with accommodation should be well developed and the purpose of developing such infrastructure should be not only to serve the tourists for profits but also to fulfill the needs of the local people or the hosts. Now, tourism growth can help to bear the cost of high standard infrastructure and give new markets for vernacular products. Thus, kindling other local fiscal sectors, destinations that have permitted tourism to grow without proper plan are under invariable risks, which can be economic, socio-cultural and even environmental. Tourists visit the destinations that have tourism potential and five A's. Large number of inhabitants of destinations areas want that their areas are visited by tourists. The concept of tourism and the infrastructure has been introduced by people from other areas of the world. The practical aspects of the industry and the unique culture of hospitality and tourism have been brought from the specialized originating countries the destinations and reasons that have fulfilled those prospects have produced significant traffic and revenue growth. It is an aspect through which the communities can work together and bring phenomenal benefits to their area. There are destinations which were not shaped at tourist spots but stretched out consequently as tourist places as the time progressed. Then, accordingly changes were made in those destinations to augment tourism development after surplus homework and research. Diverse stages of destination growth essentially involve preparation and the development stages that are furthermore detailed as follows. Planning, which has five key 
aspects include market examination, site appraisal, fiscal studies, ecological impact, community impact studies. Development stage has three aspects, integrated uses, several development types, catalytic, one development project leads to another, Cotail, development starts in close proximity to existing natural or cultural attractions. The organization and institutions concerned in the development of tourist destinations receive fiscal funding from the public sector and also involve private sector for infrastructure growth. It is the role of the public agencies to augment facilities and areas or circuitously by fostering private parties that help tourism. The NTOs and the National Administrative Machinery is the foremost organization which is involved in migration, visa requirement and lending permissions for airlines. Although directorial or administrative machinery of government are likely to hold out legal duties such as immigration and confer air travel rights for the common community good. Government regimes also act as a go-between in the tourism arena in view of the fact that it is a complicated industry being a mix of distinctive businesses and sectors. And where profits increases, if this business are synchronized well to realize worldwide objectives, and mark the development and enrichment of the distinction of tourism. Government desire to expand tourism due to the socio-economic benefits associated with it. It is by and large line that the government is developing the conception of leverage. For example, investing in facilities and infrastructure to sustain and promote tourism. It further creates far-off profits for overall general public. At country level, government have a inquisitiveness in tourism as it is an ecologically destructive work if left unrestrained and possibly will perhaps affect the public and fiscal system of reasons in either manner. NTOs are erstwhile entities that work towards the progression of tourism destinations. While tourism organizations involve in a variety of ways to develop tourism areas, alert and coach manpower for enticing effectiveness in the tourism systems. Also, the regional or local governments work toward destination expansion, development and perfection. Six-step succession of model development specified by Dunn and Quaid is as beneath. Stage 1. Recognition of the issues or issues to be studied. Stage 2. Efficient study which comprises recognition of shareholders and categorization of independent and dependent variables persuaded by data collection. Stage 3 Generalization of interactions observed in stage 2. Stage 4 Elucidation of practical relationships. Stage 5 Forecasting of possible effects. Stage 6 Testing of forecast and if required modification of essential in stages. Have a closer view of the destination development. Destination development incent progression of synchronization and expansion of amenities, facilities, products and services that hold up locals to provide unique experiences for visitors and develop hosts well-being. Taking care of destination development is primary to unbeaten implementation of tourism management. 
where destinations managers and stakeholders put into action the precedence strategies and plan developed all through the destination planning progression. Revising the destination development, its political aspects ought to be considered. Like any noteworthy constituent of any region economy, political scenario can and often do have most important impacts on the construction, action and persistence of tourism projects. Several examples can also be quoted. For example, the land use regulation for commercial sensitive topics. An additional aspect can be the degree of participation of governmental agencies in generating and sustaining tourism infrastructure. A major aspect can be the style and amount of marketing, promotion and other advertising efforts. Public infrastructure because of the visitation of surplus tourists at public facilities like parks, gardens, museums and stadiums. It also put burden on the demand of physical infrastructure like water supply, water waste, public toilets, roads, signages, car parks and other public services such as broadband. Mainly the demand for public services rises due to increase in tourist visitation. Destination access A major aspect in foundation of tourism destination is the transportation network. A tourist destination is in various aspects named by its capacity to offer with the perfect tourist access into a destination and distribution all be the destination. The movement of tourists gives both social and economic benefits combined with enhanced services to the locales. Protection of natural environment. For countless destinations, the natural area is one of the most crucial attractions for relaxation for the tourists. Different kind of recreational activity based educational, cultural activities and experiences can be experienced by the tourist in these natural and protected areas. The growth of the environment for tourism destination imposes a cautious balance struck between giving enough tourist experience and services. Protection of ecology and cultural principles of the local areas and also make sure the long term sustainability of that particular destination or area. Destination products and experiences. The most important components required by a tourist to visit a destination are products, attraction and experiences. Potential objects and innovative tourism product is not helpful for the long term sustainability of a tourism destination. Successful tourism product and unique experiences assembles and go beyond the visitors expectations and pair with the destination's brand value. Such new tourism product should be developed based on which more profit can be netted and the value of existing tourism products and resources of a destination increases. Product quality and standards. Bad quality products and services under the hopes can cut the long term sustainability of a tourism destination. Tourists are pleased with products, worth and standards. These are ground rules and regulations of sustainable visitation and perception and expectations of product quality in the tourist's mind can be transformed by a number of reasons. Visitor satisfaction surveys can be conducted to measure 
visitor perceptions and experiences of pro product quality or destination. Industry skills and development. Human resources are the core of a tourism destination. The type of tourism product is also judged by the skills. The tourism and hospitality working force working in a destination as the type of service is affected if they don't possess the required skills or expertise which could have made the service more appreciable. Therefore, the human resource in tourism plays a vital role in providing the service quality. The supply of a higher quality consumer service experiences is important to the sustainability and productivity of a tourism business community or destination. A visitor vision towards a destination can be greatly biased by the class of the services and the personal exchanges with the host community he or she had all the way through their vacation. Health, safety and security. Tourist safety and security is an important issue across the globe. Expected or actual dangers to tourist safety have instant impact on a destination's positions and can greatly influence tourist movement. Hence, if the tourist well-being and security is not properly managed, unpleasant happening can very much influence on the prosperity and sustainability of an individual, company, organization, collective or a tourist destination. If a tourist feels insecure or not safe during his trip, this could affect on duration of the stay and spending in a destination and decline the chances of repeat tourists and void of mouth marketing and references. Land use Zoning laws remark the authorized land use for destination. But the main purpose of the land use and the way of the zoning regulations are usually given to an openly working zoning officer and an electorally elected zoning management panel. Hence, the government makes sure how land is to be operated and it furthermore frames guidelines on any demand for modification in the zoning areas or rezoning to accommodate a different planned development. Creation and maintenance of infrastructure. The tourism growth requires infrastructure and superstructure facilities for leading tourism. These facilities are either made or developed by government agencies or private contractor depending on the destination and administration. Characteristics of a place The local people of that area are happy on the name of infrastructure developments. At the same time, they also anxious on account of the public money being spent to make airports, roads, water systems, sewers, park and other infrastructure. They distinguish these activities as largely valuable to the tourism industry. It is up to the government authorities to make the common masses realize the responsibility that such spendings by authorities are desirable and do give benefits to the host economy. Other method to accomplish this understanding is with rational politicization endeavors. Promotional efforts, publicly supported marketing activities are a fundamental part of the industry. However, the passion or skill of involvement in such promotion is usually a political course of action to encourage lawmakers, policy makers and vernacular political decisions makers of the charm of tourism as proper tourism research is required. So, that the real prevailing facts and figures of the industry could back tourism spending.
In the present perspective, an investment theory is the favored method to calculate government agendas. Seeing out the industry growth in the country is another great tactic. Other benefits mentioned can be job opportunities, increase in income, further investing and safeguarding and growth of local businesses. And the art and craft as well as strengthen local pride and recognition. Destination development should try at creating a scaffold for enhancing the quality of life on the community all the way through the economic and other profits from tourism. Just beginning an infrastructure and offering recreation services for guests and hosts equally, making certain forms of progression at tourist centers and resorts that are perfected to the functions of those areas, forming a growth program constant with the social, cultural and economic beliefs of the government and the host community of the destination. Focus on increasing visitor satisfaction. Some key factors that influence tourism development include population present at a place, a range of existing tourist activities and their diversity and liveliness, political situations in the place, custom, tradition and the culture at that place, facilities developed due to the demand for them on account of tourist destination for the reason that man-made or natural attractions were there in the place. Impacts of tourism on local community, for example, economic, social, cultural and ecological aspects and the social cost involved. Ease of use of land and funding available for tourism development, depending on the players involved. Outlook of the local people in the direction of the tourism projects depending on their involvement. Extent and pace of development at a tourist destination depending upon its location and topography. State of the local economy, options of alternating development, IELT of local manpower, a dynamic population whether the area is all embracing for future expansion or only limited expansion is probable. Destination development offers sharp tourism related estimates and promotional campaigns. Their expertise in signage, parking, positioning and even public restrooms is must have info for locals seeing to attract tourists. Destination expansion and growth is crucial for the development and growth of tourism. In the future destinations will need to undertake spreading out from the effect of these three important reasons. Societal, cultural, environmental and economical. Every goal has problem that link to tourism and the forthcoming of destination. Much of the problems extended can be divided into the three factors, creating the inferences gradually more essentially for the future growth of destinations, carbon radiations and the ongoing battle with global warming are adverse outcomes to the environment that destinations will require to reduce to keep a rise in tourism. The increase in disposable income, the era of the traveling age group and population rises of all effects, the cultural and societal issues essential for destination improvement and growth. The reasonable side of destination expansion is to the increase of disposable earning and government related with war and terrorism. As population is getting rich and in good health, their desired and want shifts and this changes their spending behavior. Tourists 
shapes the environment, society and the economy. Next, it is important to realize the steps in destination development and planning. These steps may be different from destinations to destinations. However, the basic skeleton remains more or less similar. Defining the goals and objectives, identification of the tourism systems and systematic planning for development. This is done in consideration of availability of resources, assisting organizations, target markets, generation and development of different alternatives, selection of alternatives and implementation, monitoring and evaluation, destination development, component attraction travelers are encouraged to go from their regular regions of residence and visit to a tourist destination. If they are really exploring, it can be considered the value basis of the destination area. A tourist site is an area of concern that tourists visit, usually for its essential or displays historical significance, culture value, natural or built beauty or enjoyment opportunities. Examples cover monuments, Jews, historical places, an art gallery, botanical gardens, museums, buildings and structures, ethnical enclave communities, historic trains and cultural events, national parks and forests, theme parks and carnivals. Various tourist sites are also milestones. In the situation of attractions, both man-made and natural attractions, vendors want to interconnect or inform both their customers and potential customers about their products. Info of the category of attraction, its location and how to reach there is of most essential. The attraction vendors, mainly the national tourism offices, needs to be dismissed their job of marketing their countries tourist sites and products using the IT products. Info through promotional films, internet sites, television, ads and travel documentaries are the most important information sources. Access Transport is required to physically shift tourists from their normal place of residence to where they are traveling. Across the globe, air transport controls and movement of foreign visitors. Transport gives the important connection with tourist origin and destination and enable the travel of holidaymakers, business travelers, tourists visiting friends and relatives and those doing educational and health tourism. Before putting out on a trip of any kind, every traveler looks which travel company has a, a ex excellent safety standards. To this effect, airplanes and even cabs are provided with good consultation tools. An airplane flies with the help of current IT devices which provided info starting from weather, altitude and other information to the pilot. Communication made in a case of danger by the pilot with the airplanes and air traffic control stations. In-flight entertainment is also a Invention of information technology, video films, video games are examples. In the case of buses, coaches and the taxis, in different countries with developed tourism, they are set with radio communication systems for different uses. For example, the driver gives info to the tour company headquarters about the progress of the tour throughout the touring time only. This statement checks the security of tourists. Quick. An easy info flow is of utmost significance to grow confidence in the traveling people. In current years, the confidence built with the help of to the use of modern IT has been displayed a fabulous rise in the number of tourists across the globe. Accommodation The need and requirement of accommodation cannot be disregarded in tourist destination. Accommodation plays an essential role in this field. Many changes have taken place in accommodation in the modern years. 
new type of accommodation, specially holiday villages, apartment houses, camping and caravan sites and tourist cottages etc. have become very popular, usually a large number of tourists travelling to a particular spot simply because there is a first class hotel available with excellent facilities. Today, Switzerland, Holland, Austria and the Netherlands have gained reputation for good cuisine, comfort and cleanliness. Accommodation has been a travel requirement since the first trading. Missionary and pilgrimage routes were established in Asia and Europe in pre-Christian time. The basis for such accommodation was generally non-playing as travellers were provided with a roof over their heads and sustenance as part of a religious obligation or in the hope that similar hospitality might be offered to the hosts in the future. The first reference to commercial accommodation provision in Europe dates back to the 13th century. This concurs with the traditional perception that associates tourism with the hotels. Traditionally, hotels play a central role in the development of tourism industry. According to physical features, like accommodation industry can be broadly divided into traditional accommodation. It includes hotels and motels. Hotels can more be subdivided into different types. Resort, floating, heritage, international, commercial. There are different kinds of motels. Cold roadside, city motel, twist cabinet. Supply accom accommodation. Supplementary accommodation. It includes buildings which keep accommodation but not exactly hotel services, they are youth hostels, traveller lodge, circuit houses, bungalows, dormitories, villas and inns. New accommodation concepts New concepts of accommodation, it has the mixture of both the type discussed above. They include camping ground, villas, eurotel, farmhouses, condominium, time sharing pensions and apart hotels. Amenities Facilities are very important for every tourist area. Facilities are the services that are required to fulfill the requirement of tourists when they are out of their normal place of stay. They include restaurants and cafes, visitor centers, telecommunication, public toilets, signage, retail shopping and emergency. As most of the facilities are public service provided by local, state and national organization, a high level of cooperation is required. Similarly, where tourist facilities may be seen to be contending with the wants of host community, they are believed to be important aid to the tourist center. Thank you.